Joining us now is Blue Owl Capital co-founder and co-president Mark Lipschultz. Mark, it's good to have you back on. Thank you for having me as always. What's driving that, that capital into Blue Owl? Seems like there's a lot of shifts and rotations going on in the system right now. You know, I think there's a couple of things driving that rotation of capital. Most importantly, it's about delivering performance for investors. At the end of the day, the products we offer at Blue Owl, the private market products, that direct lending product, our triple net real estate, our GP strategic capital, but all these private solutions are about stability, predictability, and strong current yield. And in today's environment, today's environment of uncertainty, delivering that sort of stability and results that's been proven over time is something people are drawn to, and I, th I think for good reason. See, I would think there'd be more interest in the public market right now, given what's happened with valuations there, and especially if the Fed is on the brink of pausing or cutting. Well, you know, Sarah, that's, that's a really interesting way to put it, which is if the Fed is on <laughs> right. the brink of pausing or cutting, if the economy lands softly, if maybe it continues to grow, maybe it doesn't. And I think the, the beauty of what we do and I think the attraction in what we do is we deliver through all of those different times. That is, what we do is deliver a solution that is durable with even economic uncertainty. And whether if rates go up, well, our returns go up. If rates go down, well, sure, then obviously the base rates are lower. That, that's fine. But that predictability and no need to take a position on those kinds of unknowable macro variables is what draws people to the Blue Owl products. Would you argue that the environment we're in or entering is target rich? And those, do you think those who need financing are seeing their options dwindle at the margin? It is a target-rich environment. It's an attractive environment for what we do. And, you know, really just taking a very quick step back, it's been an evolving landscape over the last, I've been in alternatives almost 30 years, wasn't called alternatives then. Uh, but you wind the clock through that time. 30 years ago was all about the public markets. And there was this very small thing called the private markets that would kind of come in and out. Today, the private markets have become the stabilizing influence, exactly as you're describing in your question, which is, look, the public market is, is fickle. It's thin today. Depends on how people feel today about regional banks, depends on how people feel about where things are in the debt ceiling. That might determine whether a company could access capital in the public market today. In our market, what we've become is the stabilizing force. The private markets are there. The private markets are reliable. The private markets were there through the pandemic, there through 2022. I can't tell you how. I mean, you and I were both just at Milken last week. This was the talk of the conference. Everybody's into private lending. We had Joe Bay on from KKR. That's the biggest source of, source of growth. Apollo told David that's the source of growth. John Gray on the earnings call at Blackstone said it was a golden moment for private credit. Can there be a bubble in this market? What is the danger here that everyone's getting in and growing so much, so fast on this lending? Well, look, I, those are wonderful firms, and I certainly <laughs> agree with their favorable view of, of direct lending. That's why we built a business that is all about direct lending. Blue Owl was built from the bottom up to deliver those solutions, which is why we've become a market leader in the space. In terms of the risk, look, at the end of the day, it's a multi-trillion dollar capital market, credit market. We and all the other direct lenders are a small part of it, but what's happening is we're delivering a solution that works for the users of the capital and the investors. I actually think what we have found is this step function up, this role that private markets can play that is stabilizing for the economy and delivers great results for investors. So it's a very appealing time, and I think the outlook is very appealing for what we do.